This is an overview and demonstration of Maximo Vision. This was put together originally for demonstration at IoT Exchange 2020 and beyond. It was assembled by Scott Wallace from the US and Andy Barnes from the UK. They're both solution architects in the AI Applications Business Unit in Cloud and Cognitive. It should be noticed that Maximo Vision is a provisional working title for this solution, so please check with the offering managers before approaching clients and business partners. So what is Maximo Vision? Maximo Vision is a combination of many discrete AI-based applications in the IBM portfolio. It provides a full-stack integration that provides end-to-end -end use cases for visual inspection, monitoring, reporting, alerting, and subsequent raising of work orders against assets. This allows field engineers or drones to rem operate remotely and to feed information into the platform to subsequently allow centralized teams to monitor and inspect the results of the activities, raising work orders where necessary for follow-up action. At the start of a flow, a field engineer will use the Visual Inspector application to inspect an asset, in this case parts of an electricity pylon. The app is available today on the Apple Play Store and can be found by searching for IBM Visual Inspector. Once installed and configured, the field engineer will capture a photograph of the part of interest and upload it to the IBM Cloud or the on-premise deployment of Visual Insights. Visual Insights is the AI engine that performs the image classification of the photograph, matching against its dataset that was used for machine learning. In this instance, we have approximately 8,500 images in the training dataset against about 30 categories of defects. Now, Visual Insights used to be called Power AI Vision, um, was recently renamed. So if you hear that term, Power AI Vision, it's, um, it's the old name for Visual Insights. So once the field engineer has that image and it's uploaded it to Visual Insights, Visual Insights will attempt what's called image classification. It will look at the training data set and see if that image matches any within that training data set. And it will come up with a confidence somewhere between 0 and 100%. Um, once it's done that classification, and it could be unclassified, um, or it could be 50% categorized, or it could have high confidence of 85% or higher against a particular classification. It will then send that message to the Watson IoT platform. The Watson IoT platform is the aggregator for all of the visual inspections. And Maximo Asset Monitor is built upon the, it comes with the Watson IoT platform and provides aggregation of those results into a dashboard. The dashboard allows alerts to be raised for any defects where we have an 85% confidence or higher, which is obviously configurable, and to see um, aggregations of inspections over the last um, time period. That could be weeks, that could be a day, or that could be a few hours. And we can also put onto image maps um, where that particular alert or asset um, is. So you can see on the image on, on the screen that there is an image with the pylons going through um, Florida. This allows somebody centralized to raise a work order within Maximo if they look at the image. So um, you can click through back to Visual Insights um, to see what the engineer recorded. Um, and if it does look like a, a proper defect and they're confident that uh, some resolution action, action is required, they can then go to Maximo and raise a work order. And they do that by clicking through um, to raise a service request from Maximo Asset Monitor through to Maximo. A lot of the information from Maximo Asset Monitor and the image classification from Visual Insights will be carried across into Maximo. This allows a, another engineer to go out and resolve the problem on site, to fix the broken, broken bonds, to fix the insulator, to do whatever remedial action is required. The field engineer also gets resp responses back in Visual Inspector on the left hand side. So they can see the result of the image classification. Did it pass? Did it fail? What kind of classification came through? Um, what was the defect that was detected by Visual Insights? And they'll have a record within the photos that you can see on the screen there. So they can look back through the inspection that they did um, today or over the last few weeks. And they can go through each image and they can automatically to see if it passed or failed. And they can also see whether or not um, what, what the overall aggregation of pass to fail rate is on that particular asset. And now into a demonstration of using IBM Visual Inspector on their iPad or iPhone. IBM Visual Inspector is freely available in the Apple Play Store. To start Visual Inspector, click on the icon to open the application. Now this is a pre-configured uh, image classification which I set up earlier. Uh, you can use it to start capturing an image for processing by Visual Insights. So if you click the Capture button, and you find part uh, of an electricity pylon and you take a picture of it. 
Field engineer can then upload that to Visual Infosites for classification. Almost immediately it's responded with dampers damaged 99.87%, so there's a high confidence uh, that this is a damaged part um, of a pylon. Visual Insights will then have sent that information to the Watson IoT platform, and the Watson IoT platform will have then sent that on to Maximo Asset Monitor to display in a dashboard. A field engineer at any point can go and look at the dashboard. Um, this is a dashboard within Visual Inspector, so they can look back at the past images which they have taken. They can see the fail rate for inspection, which is 50% for today, pass rate for inspection, which is 50% for today, the number of images which have been taken today, which is four, and the number of which have just been collected but not inspected, which is one. They can look as well against each of those images to see visually whether they passed or failed and they'll either have a red X or a green tick next to them. And they can look at each of those images and look at the confident levels against particular categories of classification to see uh, what was wrong with that particular thing that they inspected actually happening within Visual Insights, we will load an image directly into the runtime engine. So here's an image which I previously prepared, which is part of a broken ground bond um, with an electricity pylon. If I load this directly into Visual Insights, after a few seconds, it will do, it will execute some artificial intelligence against its machine learning to look at which category it best thinks um, it, it should fit. And you can see from the heat map here, how it's, uh, where it thinks it's, it's found a good match. And in this particular instance, it's found the category of ground bonds broken and it has a 98% confidence. Both the category and the confidence will be sent on to the Watson IoT platform for further processing. IoT platform, you can see that our infer inference server device is connected. And you can see that just a few minutes ago, we got the grounds bond broken message through from Visual Insights. You can also see that the 98% Classified confidence has come through, and we also got a source file path which allows us to click back through to that image within Visual Insights. If we go and look in IBM Asset Monitor, you're presented with the dashboard for the image classifications. And we can see over the last seven days uh, the image classifications aggregated which have come through and also alerts which have come through in the last week. You can also see for a particular asset what the last issue found was. So in this particular instance, we had ground bonds broken that came through, and we can click through to that on, on, on a map. We also have alerts which have come through in the last week. Alerts in the last week are categorized by, uh, well, they come through if they're, we've configured it, so they'll only come through if they are over 85% certain and the confidence, so that then a human being can then go and review these and decide whether or not to create a service request from them. When the, when the image classifications come through, there's a source path which allows you to click back through to Visual Insights. And if we take this and click through to Visual Insights, we're presented with the original image um, as it was taken by the field engineer, so that then I can go and look to see, does this look like a real issue to me? Back in Asset Monitor, if I am 100% certain, I can either inspect a previous service request which will click me through to, to Maximo to the particular service request that was raised. And you can see the service address has already been pre-filled on this and also information about that particular um, alert that came through. We can also go through and I can select an owner for a particular um, classification and I can create a service request against that as well. I can add additional information or I can carry through information from Maximo Asset Monitor and when I create that, I choose the instance which I want it to create in, and I hit Create. Then within the VAT dashboard, you will see here now that I now have a new service request 1212, which I've just created, and I can click through to Maximo to then go and see that. And that shows the full integration from Visual Inspector from a field engineer all the way through to the centralized team who then need to schedule a proper engineer to go out and fix that issue on the pipe. Information about Maximo Vision in particular details around anything in the demonstration that you've just seen, please reach out to Scott Wallace or Andy Barnes using the information that you can see on the screen and we'll be happy to help.